right, hi there YouTube. <laughs> I've got a funny one for you today. And it's part two of messing around with Windows XP. I think you're going to like this one. But straight out, I've uh, managed to get the sound drivers working on this guy. So without further ado, let's cue to the intro and let's go and take a look at our Fujitsu Siemens Amilo Pro. I think it's a 5305 is something like that anyway and interestingly enough just on this note just before we go over there I have a problem <laughs> with um, the wireless adapter I think it's faulty because I've managed to find drivers for that as well and it's still not picking up wireless networks um, so yeah Let's roll the intro and let's get over there and uh, have some fun. Be strong. Okay, so let's start by powering this thing on. And then we'll have some fun with it. So, zoom in a little. And let's get going. What we're going to do is we're going to crash Windows XP using uh, a batch file. But let's let this guy boot up first, shall we? And bottoms up. Hmm. The sound drivers I managed to find from Fujitsu Siemens website, by the way. Links to that guy are in the description bar below. So be sure to check that one out. Um, as far as the wireless drivers go, they're all installed, but yet no networks were found in range. I dismantled the bottom end of the machine and swap the two antenna cables round and still nothing so I'm pretty sure that the Wi-Fi card has gone down you can have a quick look in device manager and you'll see that it's all there so if we go into system hardware and device manager the network adapters are indeed there so that's not too much of a problem so let's have some fun then, shall we? And <laughs> crash Windows XP. <laughs> so I'll try and do this without kicking the tripod over. Now, what I did do was I created a batch file. <laughs> so we can edit that and have a look. And this is what you'll want to type. So I'm going to copy this. Just to show you what to type, and then we'll create a second one and crash Windows. So what we'll do is go in the notepad, paste this in, file, then we're going to save it as. Um, just so you know what I've done, actually. You've got at echo off, colon crash, start, go to crash. And essentially, what that's going to do is it's going to keep on throwing up start uh, CMD screens like these. Because when you type in start and then enter, you'll get another um, command prompt that will appear. <coughs> and yeah, it'll just go to crash and it'll keep repeating. So yeah, it's, it's great fun. It'll annoy the hell out of you trying to stop it. So what we'll now do is save this guy as a batch file. So we're going to call it, let's pull this up here, and we're going to call it mobile2. Um, 
mobile2.bat because it's a batch file and we're going to hit the save as type all files and then hit OK and we'll delete the top one so that's gone we can close that and now we'll run it <laughs> and as you see very quickly I can't do anything that is hilarious just using that simple script we've managed to basically well, there's 226 tabs open. It's only going to get worse, but... Yeah, I can't shut the computer down. I can't do anything, essentially. Except let that run. Might be able to force it to shut down, but probably not. Yes, mouse still works though. Can't click on that. I could try and start closing some of these down, but. <laughs> that is super annoying. No. Nope. Can't do anything. Let's try and log off. No, it won't let you do that. <laughs> oh dear. I do these things just for the funniest of shits. And control alt delete won't work either. I'm trying that, as you'll see on the keyboard. Control alt delete, I've got now 241 tabs that are open. And no matter how much you try and click on it, well, you'll probably burn your fingers out before you shut all that down because as soon as you keep shutting them down new ones will appear <laughs> no that's going to have to be a hard power off I think so we'll press the power key Might have to hold the power key. We'll see. Oh no. Do we, don't we? But we've managed to crash Windows XP using a very, very simple batch command. Little batch program there. Little batch file. No, so the only way around that is to press and hold the power key. I think so, anyway.
No, it's... Oh, here we go. What's happening here? Hey, did it. Did it without pressing and holding the power key. Well, there you are, people. That's your lot. So I will uh, close out now. But there was just a few minutes of fun for you. <laughs> I am easily amused. It's just the simplest of shits like that that seem to, seem to fucking amuse me. <laughs> oh dear. I'm going to try it out on every version of Windows, I think, and see if it actually works. I think it will do. Mm. Anyway, people, I hope you enjoyed that one. Stay tuned for part three if I get round to making that, and we'll see what else we can do. But for now, I hope that you enjoyed that video. I'm going to leave the links for the drivers for that Amilo Pro in the description bar. So check the dizzy bar down there, and I'll see you fairly soon. <coughs> Thanks again, dear lovely viewer and dear subscriber. And um, yeah, stay good, and I wish you all the very best. <laughs> I'm off for some more mischief. Catch you soon. All right. Kisses, loves, respects, and see you soon.